So do you live um, a, a no alarm life? Because you filled that in in the form. Do you live a no alarm life? I do for oh, the most wow. part. I mean, if, you know, for example, I had a flight on Saturday and so I had to, you know, set the alarm for that. But today I didn't, I didn't have an alarm. It's, it's one of those things I definitely manifested and has been super beautiful. I actually looked back in my journal from a few years ago um, recently and there was a whole paragraph about how no more of this and this this is what I want and then I looked around my life now and I said I have every single one of these things that I listed in that manifestation which is incredible but no alarm was was definitely one of them to have the freedom to you know experience life in a way that uh, had a lot of a lot of freedom is really important to me and specifically my morning routine, I recognize that it's really important for me to wake up in a space where I'm not rushing off to do anything and to feel like I'm able to acclimate in my own energy. I actually keep like a tea kettle right by my bed. So, you know, the first thing I do when I wake up, I'm still kind of groggy. I, I start the tea kettle. I'm kind of, you know, stretching in bed, you know, giving myself a hug. And then by that time, you know, the kettle is heated up. So I pour it, you know, into my cup and I'm, you know, finishing stretching. And then oftentimes like this morning I read for, you know, 20, 30 minutes, started checking my emails. Sometimes I'll journal and it's, it's really nice. So do you have a set routine or does it change every day? Your morning routine? I, I used to have more of a routine around my mornings. Uh, and it would get to the point though, where I'd feel really guilty if I didn't do something like journal or do, you know, my morning meditation. And, and now I've realized I thrive so much off of having the fluidity. And to me, that's really like, honoring my feminine and like I can allow you know my masculine to step in in the times when I'm you know doing the work that I need to do and and working with with people and holding space but to me the mornings are sacred for me to just touch in with with my body and say like what do you what would you like right now what's going to nourish you to feel the most you know energized and embodied for this day ahead. I, I totally agree with that because I've had a no alarm life for 12 years now and it's just the best thing ever and that's actually, actually what inspired me to create this podcast because um, I've been a, a sex expert for many years and I've, I've written for many media outlets and one a few years ago someone from Marie Claire Brazil was interviewing me and she said can I call you tomorrow whatever time I was like yeah yeah sure and then she wrote me an email saying, I'm in traffic. Can I call you in half an hour late, half an hour later? I was like, yeah, yeah, fine. So when we started speaking about my sex toy collection and all these things that I do, um, I told her I had a no alarm for about 10 years, whenever, whenever it was. And she just couldn't believe it because she'd been, you know, in traffic and rushing here and rushing there. And, and that really was the detail of my life that she thought was the best thing. And I realized, wow, actually, this is, this is, this is luxurious, actually, to not yeah. you know, have to take public transport in the morning or be in traffic or, you know, like most normal people. <laughs> it's really the best thing. It so. is. I often, I often forget as well that I am in the minority in that way, because now it's just such an important and integral part of my lifestyle that I forget that people have, you know, normal nine to fives. Luckily I live in Los Angeles though, where a lot of my friends have a very similar um, fluidity in their lifestyle, but it's, it's fascinating. And also I find that I actually created a no alarm lifestyle because I wasn't a very good sleeper, but actually now I sleep way better you know, just actually not having that pressure of um, having an alarm and thinking, oh my God, it's going to go off in five hours. <laughs> but I just kind of, I sleep much better and I do, I do sleep maybe less hours, but deeper. Do you find anything similar? Um, I definitely resonate with the idea of not having alarm. I, I, I like when I do have to use an alarm, I notice that now I get really anxious and I'll wake up, you know, uh, potentially it depends sometimes a couple of times before at the same time though, sometimes when I know that I need to wake up at a certain time and I'll tell my body, Hey, you know, we need to wake up at 5.00 AM. I'll often wake up at 4.45 or something like that, like a little bit before, but not in an anxious way. Sometimes it's just in a way of like, oh, like I have such a, you know, strong relationship with my body that I, that I'm able to kind of set that intention and have it follow through. That's not all the time though, <laughs> to be fair, but I definitely sleep incredibly, incredibly well. And I, I again, like I really just listen to my body and, and see what I need. And I notice that in different parts of my menstrual cycle, 
you know, I'll sleep more or less. So, you know, now I'm, I'm in my premenstrual phase. I'm definitely going into sleeping a little bit longer, but in, you know, my ovulation, you know, around full moon, I will, you know, sleep four or five hours a night and feel totally fine the next day.